I just made an amazing breakfast. I am a breakfast fiend. I could only have breakfast for the rest of time. I just made myself two eggs over medium and two gluten-free waffles from Vans. And Milo's asleep. He's been napping since about 9 a.m. I think now it's like 9.35 or 9.45. So I don't have that much time before the kid wakes up. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. Today is one of those days when I have a mommy and me group during his next feed. So my plan is to clean up this kitchen and then also pack up and get some stuff ready for his next feed, including some sticks that they can eat at six months plus, and he's now almost eight months. Also, uh, I have to pump before we go. I will give you a nursing update. I do have some nursing updates, but I'm gonna pump. I'm gonna try to clean up a little and then maybe sit down and chat with you. coffee this morning and he left these grounds. And there's a weight under the sink that gets sucked up and then gets stuck in the wires. So, so every time I pull this down to clean the sink, it gets stuck like this. And I have to go under the sink and do this. I also slammed my knee before. I don't know if you saw. But ow. This is the only spot in my apartment that gets sunlight like this. This one spot in the kitchen. And while it's here, I like to bask in it. So I'm setting my camera up right here. And we're gonna chat right here. One update that I haven't shared yet on either Instagram or YouTube is that I dropped one of my nursing sessions with Milo and we replaced that with formula. Just a little recap of where we were at schedule wise. So since Milo was eight weeks old, he's been eating four times a day. So the schedule we're on right now is like 7 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and then 6 p.m. before he goes to bed at seven. Okay, it is very bright. It is a little hard to focus. And then over the past, I would say a couple months, I've been pumping myself one more time after those four feeds. So then myself, usually around 9.30 p.m., I will pump before I go to bed. And then I'm now able to sleep through the night until 7 a.m. when I wake up to feed him again. I did get mastitis recently. I actually didn't document it over here. I was posting a little bit about it on Instagram, but essentially what happened was I woke up one morning, I had like a lump inside of my boob. It was really painful. I immediately tried to pump and some milk was coming out, but it was still just really tender and painful. So I spent, oh, I did this. I immediately took some of this stuff, which is supposed to clear up clogged ducts. It is not delicious. I have done this before when I thought I was getting mastitis and it actually helped. So I tried it this time, it didn't help. I also got into the shower. I was brushing it with a dry brush. I was using heating pads. I was just trying to pump a lot. I had to take Tylenol for the uh, fever that was coming on and for the pain. Basically, it didn't clear it up. I went back to sleep, and then when I actually woke up for the morning, it was still in pain, and it was just really a bad day. We ended up going that day to look at a house in the suburbs, so we drove out of the city, and when we came back, like the drive back was horrific for me. Pounding headache, in and out of fever. I ended up calling my doctor. I got antibiotics, got rid of mastitis. My supply kind of dipped a little and I was sort of like, I have a choice right now. I can either make an active concerted effort to start power pumping and get my supply back and make sure that I build up my supply or I can use this as kind of the beginning point of a slow weaning journey. I've been saying that I want to try to nurse Milo until a year. It's kind of just been like an arbitrary decision I've made. A lot of it does have to do with COVID and me giving him my COVID antibodies in the milk. Some of it has to do with just nutrition. If my supply just disappeared, I would immediately stop and transfer him to formula. He actually takes really well to formula. He's eaten any formula we've given him without any problems. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. And phase one of that was cutting out 
one of those nursing sessions. So I cut out the third one. So I still nurse him at seven, I nurse him at 11, but then at three, I don't nurse him, I give him formula and I nurse him again at night. I'm hoping this is all making sense for people who are nursing or like understanding these schedules. I don't think any part of Milo nursing is comfort nursing. I genuinely think because we had a night nurse here who was giving him bottles from the start, I think he just eats for hunger. He loves bottles, he loves the boob, but he's never like, seems like he's saying, mama, I want to nurse. At night, I don't nurse him for comfort. I don't nurse him in the middle of the night. I don't nurse him before bed. If I offer him the boob as a source of food, it's like he purely wants it for food. And honestly, he gets frustrated once the milk is not like flowing out fast anymore. He gets frustrated and he would prefer the bottle. So I'm not scared to stop nursing for his sake. It's just like, I'm trying to get to this year point and I kind of decided that instead of doing like a cold turkey stopping to nurse whenever I'm done, that I want to do like a slow and steady phase out. And I ideally want to get to this point where I'm able to produce milk for him for morning and night, but that all day I'm not pumping or nursing and we're just giving him formula during the day and that I can also sleep myself at night and don't have to pump myself after he goes to bed. I just like to keep you guys Oh my God, I was gonna make the best pun. I'm gonna say it, but now I ruined the fun. I just like to keep you guys abreast of my nursing journey. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. I am going to drink my coffee and enjoy this sunlight and I'll see you later. Getting ready for the park. Recently, I've been putting his probiotic and vitamin D drops into the bottle because he's stopped being interested in having it off of the spoon. Five drops. Throw this in the fridge for a little. birthday's coming up and I really don't think I've ever purchased a birthday gift for myself. There is something that I want, but it's kind of a business purchase. It's a new camera. In the history of my video content career, I've only used two cameras. So I first used the Canon G7X, which is like a starter vlogger camera. It's a very small camera. It's one of those like, they call it a point and shoot camera. So you just turn it on and shoot and it auto adjusts the focus, it auto adjusts the brightness. It's honestly a really good vlog camera for new vloggers. Ow, I have a cramp. <sighs> Do you ever just get like a stitch in your side like you're a marathon runner, but you're standing still doing nothing? The camera I have now is called the Canon EOS M50. I have the white body and it has detachable lenses so you can put on different lenses to get different styles. I like the camera. The thing is, it doesn't have the visual style that I love and there are a few YouTubers out there whose content I personally gravitate towards and I think a big reason that I gravitate towards it is the look of the footage. I'm curious, do you care at all what the footage looks like that you watch on YouTube? Because I'm filming this right now on my iPhone and I feel like sometimes I just head to my iPhone because it's easy, it's fast. Honestly, sometimes it's clearer than other footage. I'm filming this on the front facing camera, so it's honestly the worst of the two cameras on the iPhone, but I just feel like it's easy to do. I'm in the kitchen, I was already with my phone, so it's easy to just pop this up and set it up. And it makes me film more content because I don't have to worry about setting up a tripod and charging a battery and I don't know. I wanna buy this other camera. I've had my eye on it for a while and I'm convinced that it will make me more excited to film. But I don't know, I've just been feeling like I want to show up more vlog style and maybe I'll be more inspired to do so if I have the camera of my dreams. So for my 30th birthday, I'm considering it. So let me know if you think I should get it. Oh. 
What are you smiling at? Avocado toast, my friend. One, two, three.